What's going on guys? So quick video here. I have two packages. One from my man Jay over at Icon de Parfum. He reached out to me and uh, said, he was asking me about Ferrari fragrances. He's like, what Ferrari fragrances do you have? And I said, oh, just name the you know very few that I have. He's like, well, I got some discontinued ones that I think would go to a good home with you. I was, you know, get, I'm getting rid of some things and I want to send you a little, a little surprise package. So I don't know what's in here other than it's some Ferrari fragrances that are discontinued. And then shout outs to Jason. You know who you are. He, same thing, was cleaning out, you know, getting rid of some excess of stuff he doesn't wear. Asked me if I had Mercedes-Benz man private. I said, no. He's like, did you ever get around to getting that yet? I said, nope. He said, uh, want to send it your way. Give it to a good home. So <laughs> I know what this is. This is Mercedes-Benz man private. I'm super excited to smell this one. So since I know this is what this is, we're going to open this one first. Then we'll bust into this larger mystery package that supposedly has some Ferrari stuff in it. So stay tuned. A lot of bubble wrap. Gotta love the bubble wrap. No box. That's okay. Don't mind a loose bottle. Here we go. Mercedes-Benz man private. Mostly full. And there's barely anything missing from this bottle. Mercedes-Benz man private. I mean, it's... Literally, it's like he bought it, wore it two or three times, and... That was all she wrote. That's like barely missing anything. Wow. Thank you, Jason. Um... Because I'm really digging the, the Mercedes-Benz Man line. I still want to dive into it more. I want to get Mercedes-Benz Man Blue next, as well as the, the Fresh Flanker that was like an exclusive to Dillard's or something like that. There's a few that I'm going to try, but um, I have no idea how many fragrances I'm going to be smelling in total. So just to be safe, I'm going to grab a test strip for this, and we'll start off with the test strips. Sprays right away. Has been used before, but hey, that's okay. A lot of leather. Got a leathery smell at the top. Like an ambery, leathery type of smell with a little bit of sweetness. This is pleasant. I, I want to say there's a little earthiness that could potentially be some tobacco. I haven't looked at the note breakdown for this in a long ass time. I have no idea. We'll take a look here in just a second, but... This is rich and sweet, and the reason I say it might be a little earthy tobacco, it kind of gives me a little bit of a pure Havan type of vibe here. Mugler Amen Pure Havan. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a sweet tobacco and type of leathery feel here. Ambery. Very rich. Not summer appropriate in any way. I don't even think I would want to wait. Well, maybe in the evenings going to dinner, but... This is really, really good. Even on paper, really good. Not a ton of spice, but you can tell there's a little bit of spiciness in the backdrop, kind of an undertone of spice. Warm. It's definitely a warm fragrance. That's why I think it's kind of got an ambery feel, so I'm thinking there's probably some amber here. It's a little leathery, tobacco-y type of feel. Let's pull these notes up. I'll put it on screen for you guys. Because uh, you won't be able to see what I'm doing, but I guess we'll just check for Grantica. So Mercedes-Benz Man Private. Main Accords, woody, amber, aromatic, warm, spicy, musky, patchouli, fresh, spicy, balsamic. So just looking at those Accords, there's nothing leather about the Accord or tobacco, but it kind of has a little feel of that. Maybe a little benzoin giving this uh, amber. So... Top notes are cypress, cardamom, artemisia, mid notes, labdanum. Okay, labdanum gives a leathery feel, so there you go. That's where I'm getting this leathery note. And broxen, would not have guessed that. Lavender, cedar, patchouli, and cashmere wood. So the patchouli's got to be the something earthy that I'm getting. It's very rich. It is smoothing out, which is probably the cashmere wood and the ambroxan. 
mixing with the lavender, but definitely the cashmere. Cashmere wood's very smooth, woody note. It's a fantasy woody note. It's not cashmere wood's not a real thing. This is smooth and ambery, and there's nothing outside of labdanum. Deep, powerful, leathery, and ambery note. So it's just it must be just a heavy dose of labdanum, because I know it can give off a leathery feel. Apparently it gives off an ambery type of smell too, so. It's got to be predominantly labdanum in here because I get leather, I get amber, and a lot of it on the paper. This is beautiful, though. This is a beautiful fragrance. Not super expensive. I'm sure the performance is great. What are people rating it? Got to take this stuff with a grain of salt. Just like my opinion, take it with a grain of salt. Majority says long-lasting 7 to 12 hours with a strong sillage. So it's on the heavier side in performance, which I could see it's really popping off of this test strip. This is nice. This is really, really nice. I'm impressed. Thank you, Jason. Seriously, thank you. It will get some some good use this year. I will definitely put it to use. It will go into the, the rotation here this fall. This is even better than I thought it would be. I, I wasn't expecting so much leather. And like, like I said, there's just labdanum. There's no, there's no leather note, but it's got a pretty in, intensive leathery smell. I'm surprised that's not on the um, on the main accords. Could just be the paper, but that's how it smells to me. It's good stuff. Let's bust open the mystery box. Okay, here we go. All right. Let's see what we got here. One, that's Ferrari. Two, that's Radiant Bergamot. That's Ferrari. So now I got a second bottle with a cap because I already have a tester bottle. Three. Holy shit. Okay, put that to the side. Hold on. I've, that's distinctively with that. And another Ferrari. So three Essence fragrances, but screw that. Screw the Ferraris. Holy shit. Wow. Polo, red, white, and blue. Looks like a tester because of the print on the back. Yeah, it says tester on the label, on the sticker. If it would focus, I could show you that. We're on my webcam, so it may not. There it is. Tester. Wow. So I've been going through the Polo Blue line. And in the reviews, I've been saying I'll probably never try this because people are crazy on eBay. This has been discontinued for a while. The only place to find it that I've seen is on eBay. And I think the cheapest I've seen is like 160 And it's just not worth it for a Polo Blue flanker. So I thought I would never get to try it. Holy shit, Jay. Thank you, man. Now, because I still only have the decant of Polo Blue Parfum, but I have juice of the entire Polo Blue range, other than limited edition like Christmas bottles and stuff with the bear on it. But as far as different fragrances, I have all of them. I still have to do Polo Blue Sport in a review. And then now I can do this one and I can do a line review and kind of a, how, a line overview, if you will, discussing each, the differences, the similarities. Man, thank you, man. Thank you. Seriously, we're spraying this one on skin. Big wide mist. Hands covered. Ooh, a lot of apple. But it's still got that cucumber smell from uh, from the original Polo Blue. Apple cucumber. Very watery. This is nice. This is pleasant. Groundbreaking? Absolutely not, but... Smells like a fruitier version of Polo Blue. Damn, this is, this is solid. Not worth what it's going for on eBay. Absolutely not. That's why I was cool with I'll just never get to try it. Damn, I cannot believe Jay sent this to me. Wow, I never would have thought. Damn, very generous, very kind and thoughtful. You can tell that man's been watching my videos. Thank you, Jay. Seriously, thank you, man. I like this. All right, let's, let's, <laughs> I've got three other fragrances here. Let's see what other Ferraris we have. So here we have a partial of Radiant Bergamot. Gorgeous fragrance. I actually wore this out the shower last night for my tester bottle, which I don't have a cap to. 
but now I have one with a cap and I spray it pretty heavy. I, I like this fragrance a lot. So this will get some use. It will take time to get to this. Hopefully it doesn't spoil by the time I get to it, but I do really like Radiant Bergamot. It's like my favorite in this particular line of four. Granted, I have not tried Bright and Rolly yet, and I do need to get that. That's the only one I'm missing of the four, but Radiant Bergamot is definitely my favorite. So, and thank you. This, again, this is going to take me a long time to get to this one. I'm going to go through the tester bottle that I have that has the air seal leak first, because that one's going to spoil. Let's see if this one's primed. Yeah, so... God, this smells good. Zesty. So this one doesn't have the air leak. So this one will last longer. This one won't spoil as fast. So I'm going I'm to stick to my tester first. That's awesome, though. Thank you. What do we have here? Oh, wow. He wasn't joking about discontinued ones. Silver Essence. I believe they discontinued all of these. Wow. I wonder what this one smelled. Let's, let's grab a tester. I, don't, I have no idea what the note breakdown is on this one. Let's check it out. Two good sprays. Um, I know they have Essence Musk is one of them, so I doubt this is heavy on the musk. Silver kind of leads me to believe a variety of things. I would think more metallic, maybe. It's kind of smoky. It is a little cold in metallic, but it's smoky. It's a strange combination. This doesn't smell like anything else I've tried before. It's definitely smoky. Cold and metallic. A little bit of citrus, probably like a bergamot, but not real zesty. Come more juicy than anything else. I feel like there's a fresh spicy tone in the backdrop, but the smoke is in the forefront here. It's on the test strip. Obviously, I'm not getting the full story, but this is another one that smells great on the test strip. I feel like it's mostly painting the picture for me. I'm not getting the entire image, but I feel like I'm getting the majority of it here, or at least the heart of the fragrance, the core of what it's about. Screw it. We're going on skin. Put that right there. Let's go right here. That was a little close. That's going to drip. I don't know if you guys see that. It's very concentrated. That's going to drip. Because I don't need to spray radiant bergamot. I mean, I've talked about it several times on the channel. A little crispy, spicy, and ozonic polo red, white, and blue. It doesn't smell like any groundbreaking type of fragrance, but it's nice. You know, it was the one that I'm missing. Oh, there's something a little earthy here and creamy, like some patchouli. But it's definitely smoky. This is definitely a smoky fragrance. A little musky, but I wouldn't call it a musky fragrance. Let's pull the notes up on this one. Ferrari Silver Essence. Man Accords are woody. Fresh, spicy, warm, spicy, so definitely some spice. Smoky, there you go. Coconut. Okay, I get a little bit of that. Aromatic, cinnamon, amber, leather, balsamic. What an interesting concoction of accords. Top, cinnamon, nutmeg, pepper, thyme, and sage. A lot of spice. Mid is coconut, birch. There's your smoke. Patchouli. Okay, I definitely get patchouli. Lavender. Base of Atlas Cedar, Incense, Gayak Wood, and Musk. So there's three smoky notes. Gayak Wood is a smoky wood. It's got a tauric type of smokiness that comes from the wood. I love Gayak Wood. Incense, self-explanatory. And Birch is a smoky wood as well, just like Gayak Wood. Different type of smoke. More smoky, much more smoky than Gayak Wood. And there is musk, but not super musky. This isn't too spicy. It's more smoky than it is spicy. It is very woody. This is super nice. This is like a different type of daytime scent that can... Bordering signature scent, like the one and only type of fragrance that you need kind of thing, that provides a uniqueness. Because 
I don't have anything else that smells like this. I've never smelled this scent DNA in, a, in another fragrance before. The coconut is there, but it's almost like a creamy coconut. Does not have a sunscreen smell at all. And it's not super spicy. Like when I see this top of cinnamon, nutmeg, and pepper, you would think it's just a super blast of spice, and it's not. It's very balanced to where it's not a, just an overload of spice to just destroy your olfactory. This, this might be the nicest fragrance in this video. Granted, I have one more to go, but I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. Again, thank you, Jay. Damn. This is really good. Sleeper. I never hear, I've never heard anybody talk about this fragrance. I'm not saying there aren't videos out there, and I've just never seen any. This is a sleeper. This is really good. So while we're at it, let's pull up Polo Red, White, and Blue. I'm curious on the notes. I get apple. I get cucumber. I get ozonic aquatic type of feel. Okay, Polo Red, White, and Blue. Ozonic aquatic, aromatic, fruity, musky, lavender, herbal, woody, green, sweet. All that makes sense for the most part. It smells like a fruitier version of Polo Blue, basically. Top notes of cucumber and red apple. There you go. Hot damn. Mid notes of lavender and sage, base of musk and woodsy notes. Pretty self-explanatory, and that's pretty much what it smells like. What you see in the note breakdown is kind of what you get. It does have more of a watery appeal than this note breakdown. It's probably the cucumber. Cucumber can give that kind of aquatic ozonic feel. This is really pleasant. I'm sure it's not that great of a performer. It doesn't smell groundbreaking or anything. Pretty redundant to the regular Polo Blue. It's more of a collectible at this point, really, or a line completionist type of thing if you, you like having the whole line, which was what I was going for. I'll wear it randomly for sure. It's not going to be a heavy use type of thing, but I kind of like this a little bit better than regular Polo Blue EDT. A little bit. It smells like that plus the red apple. It's fruitier polo blue. It's nice. Damn nice. A crisp tonic. That's pretty damn accurate. All right. Let's see what this last one is. It's a red bottle. Ferrari Essence Oud. Oh, I've heard this is a decent one. I've never tried this. I want to say I've heard Chad talk about this one in a video before. I could be wrong. But I want to say I've heard Chad talk about this one. Chad, if you see this, shout out to you. Comment below if you did do a video. I'll have to check after. But I guess let's, uh, let's just go right on skin, shall we? A little paintbrush action across the wrist. Woo! Synthetic oud. Heavily synthetic. I mean, I don't expect natural oud from Ferrari. But a pungent oud type of oody. When I say oody, a lot of you know what I'm talking about. It's that oud funk. Very spicy. A little astringent. It's very spicy. Kind of reminds me of English Laundry Windsor in many ways. With more oud. Because that's got a little touch of the synthetic oud. A lot of spice and woods and stuff like that. Whereas this, I feel like you get that with a lot more of that same type of very synthetic you know, make-believe oud, I guess you could say. Not This is not real oud. I would be surprised if it is. It definitely smells very synthetic, but it's oddly pleasing. It's very sharp at the top. It's got an edge to it. It's got some bite. Some bite is a great way to put it. It's different. I don't love it. I don't hate it kind of walks the path of being, you know, better than good. We'll rate these after, but yeah, it's solid. It's different. I like it more than Calvin Klein Euphoria Intense. That's got a similar synthetic oud. That's okay, kind of underwhelming. I like this better than that. This runs a race with Windsor from English Laundry for me, because I really like that fragrance. That's what it reminds me of. They are a similar style fragrance. I know this one's discontinued. This one's probably fetching well over 100 bucks on eBay, too, as well as Silver Essence, I'm sure. 
For those of you interested in Radiant Bergamot, though, I saw Fragrance Net has full presentations. Again, 28 bucks after the 37% off coupon code. So if you're interested in Radiant Bergamot, make sure to go check out Fragrance Net. They have it right now for a good price, sub 30 bucks. Yeah, this is very spicy, synthetic oud. Let's, uh, let's pull up the notes. Let's check it out. Ferrari Essence Oud. Oud. Leather, amber, rose. Fresh, spicy, aromatic, warm, spicy, balsamic, animalic. Definitely has an animalic tone. Floral. High rated. Came out in 2012. So top notes, agarwood. Oud, right off the get. That's your only top note. Mid notes of rose, olibanum, elemi resin, saffron, and caraway. Base notes of leather and labdanum. So it's a lot of a leathery feel. You get some more amber out of the labdanum, but labdanum gives leather. Leather, note. Saffron can be leathery. The elemi resin, that provides a creaminess. I don't find it's heavy on that. I find that I'm getting a lot of caraway and spice from saffron. It's very spicy. Definitely a strong le leather presence, but it could be because of all this variety of leather accords creating this animalic tone that's kind of coming across as spicy to me. Because it's very sharp and pungent and, like I said before, has a lot of bite. That's a really good word for this, is it? It has a lot of bite to it. It's not my favorite fragrance in the video, but I do think this is solid. I will wear this. This is a cold weather winter type of fragrance for me. This also reminds me of fragrances like Ferragamo Oud. Ferragamo, Salvatore Ferragamo Pour Homme Oud, the Oud flanker. That walks this path too. That one's a little bit better quality than this, but I don't know. It's definitely a similar scent profile. So if you have any of those fragrances I've mentioned, you kind of mostly have this. This could be a beast, though. I don't know. It's pretty strong off my skin. This could be a... Yeah, it's pretty stout. It's getting smoky, too. All the bantam's kind of kicking in. It's getting a little smoky. It's pretty damn good. I don't think it's great. But it's pretty damn good. Let's rate all these bad boys. So, in order to rate Mercedes-Benz Man Private, since I sprayed the two little spritzes like that, since I sprayed the others on skin, it's only fair that I spray this one on skin... It was great on the paper. It's even better on skin. The labdanum is the strongest note here because it's extremely ambery with a nice leather backbone. And neither of those notes are there, but labdanum is. A little earthy. It's a touch spicy. It's still kind of, it has a brightness to it, so it's still uplifting but very dark, almost resinous, but not quite. More leathery and ambery than resinous. This is really good. I like this. This is a 7.5 out of 10. This is very good. Very good fragrance. Am looking forward to wearing this as the weather cools down. This is really good stuff. Thank you, Jason. In regards to Ferrari Silver Essence, was not expecting what was gonna be in this package. This might be my favorite in the video, though. Of the lot, this might be my favorite. I like this a lot. It's very smoky, but still woody and spicy, but more fresh spicy than warm. It's smooth overall. It's got a class to it, but it's not really serious. But it has a little touch of elegance. I think this is great. This is an 8 out of 10. Ferrari Silver Essence is surprising me. I think this is great. This this is going to be the highest rating in this video for sure. Even over Mercedes-Benz Man Private. This is great. Polo Red, White, and Blue. While I'm super, like, flat, I was flabbergasted to open this. Super excited to have this. It's not a special fragrance. It's good. It's really good. Especially if you like Polo Blue. It's a little tiny twist. It's a fruitier version because of the red apples pretty heavy on it. And you still smell Polo Blue EDT. So if you like Polo Blue EDT, this is a fruitier version. It's still very good. Any given day, you can't go wrong here. I think this is very good. This is a 7 out of 10. First impressions rating. Obviously, I'm going to do a full review sooner rather than later. I still have another one ahead of this. Then I'll be working on this one. I'll be spending time with it, but... 
first impressions, I mean, it's it's hard to go wrong here. This is a damn good fragrance. Um, super, super surprised this was in there. This is the shocker of these two packages for me. Again, thank you, Jay. So Ferrari Essence Oud. This one's getting better and better as it dries. It's getting more and more leathery. That, that animalic sharp edge to the top is settling down. It's toning back. It's still nice and spicy. It's still very leathery because there's so much leather going on here from all the different ways that the leather accord comes across in the notes. This one's really good too. Uh, I think better than good was me undershooting it when I said better than good when I first sprayed it because as it's drying, it's getting even better. And I think this is another one that's very good at seven out of 10. This is a nice little gem right here. If you can find this one for a decent price, it might be worth getting. It might be overpriced at this point. I haven't looked on eBay. I know this one's discontinued. And usually the case, it's probably way, way too expensive. Probably 150 plus. At that point, I mean, that's up to you. I wouldn't want to pay it. I, honestly, I don't think it's worth that. But it does smell really good. I'm glad to have it. I'm going to wear it. And again, I appreciate you sending this out, Jay. This was a pleasant surprise. That turned out being better than I even thought. And then last, I mean, Radiant Bergamot. I, I want to say I've given this a 7 out of 10 in the first impressions that I did before. I mean, I really love this stuff. I love wearing this stuff. It's not the greatest fragrance out there. It's not the best Bergamot fragrance on the market or anything. But it's a great fragrance nonetheless. I, like I said, I wore it out the shower last night. I gave myself like 8 or 10 sprays. I spray it relatively heavy even just chilling around the apartment late at night. I just love the way this one smells. Not a great performer, but a very zesty, almost fresh, spicy, extremely green, juicy bergamot. There's a lovely amalgamation of greens to go with. There's a little bit of a soapy tone. It's just a good fragrance. So that was the two packages, one from Jason, thank you so much, and one from Jay over at Icon de Parfum with a bunch of discontinued goodies uh, one that surprised me the most, I still can't believe this is in there, um, as well as Silver Essence. Silver Essence from Ferrari. It's a damn good fragrance. I'm going to be wearing that one really, really soon. If you want to see full reviews on any of these, please make sure to sound off in the comments and let me know. Uh, and until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have any of the fragrances that were featured in this video? What do you think about them? Or have you tried them before, even if you don't have them? I'd love to know what you guys think. Make sure to sound off in the comments. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these and give them a spray now, I don't know. You might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.